Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from U.S. President Donald Trump with the participation of Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. During the call, His Majesty King Hamad stressed the need to reach a just and comprehensive peace as a strategic option in accordance with the two-state solution and relevant resolutions of international legitimacy. His Majesty the King praised the pivotal role and steady efforts of the U.S. administration to advance the peace process, establish security and stability in the Middle East and strengthen international peace. President Trump extended an invitation to Bahrain to participate in the uh, signing ceremony of the peace agreement that will be held at the White House between the United Arab Emirates and Israel on September 15th. Following the phone, between, phone call between all parties, the following joint statement was issued. U.S. President Donald Trump, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel spoke and agreed to the establishment of full diplomatic relations between Israel and the Kingdom of Bahrain. This is a historic breakthrough to further peace in the Middle East, opening direct dialogue and ties between these two dynamic societies and advanced economies will continue the positive transformation of the Middle East and increase stability, security and the prosperity in the region. The United States expressed its gratitude to the Kingdom of Bahrain for hosting the historic Peace to Prosperity Workshop in Manama on June 25th of 2019 to advance the cause of peace, dignity and economic opportunity for the Palestinian people. The parties will continue their efforts in this regard to achieve a just, comprehensive and enduring solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to enable the Palestinian people to realize their full potential. Israel affirmed that as set forth in the vision for peace, all Muslims who come in peace may visit and pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque and Jerusalem's other holy sites will remain open for peaceful worshippers of all faiths. King Hamad and uh, the Prime Minister Netanyahu expressed their deep appreciation to President Trump for his dedication to peace in the region, his focus on shared challenges, and the pragmatic and unique approach he has taken to bring their nations together. The parties commended uh, the United Arab Emirates and Crown Prince uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed for his leadership on August 13, 2020, announcing full diplomatic relations with Israel. The Kingdom of Bahrain has also accepted President Trump invitation to join Israel and the United Arab Emirates at the historic signing ceremony on September 15, 2020 at the White House where Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel and Foreign Minister Abdel Latif Al-Zayani of Bahrain will be signing a historic declaration of peace. During the call, His Majesty King Hamad offered his deepest condolences to President Trump on the anniversary of the September 11 attacks. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call today from the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, in which he congratulated His Majesty for establishing diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel. The Egyptian President highlighted the historic step taken by Bahrain, which will push forward the peace process efforts and open more horizons for stability in the Middle East. For his part, His Majesty the King expressed gratitude for the continuous Egyptian support to achieve security and stability in the Middle East. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa said that the declaration to support peace between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel is a courageous historic step made by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added that the royal move aims to achieve a more secure, stable and prosperous future for all peoples of the region as well as contribute to supporting the legitimate Palestinian rights. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa stressed that the initiative is also in line with His Majesty the King's wise vision on maintaining the kingdom's status as a secure and a pacifist country that embraces everyone within an atmosphere of security, peace, openness and coexistence. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa has stressed that the declaration of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and the State of Israel is a sovereign decision that represents a courageous stance reflecting His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wisdom and forward looking vision. He stressed that the move will serve Bahrain's top interests and contribute to consolidating security and stability as well as promoting progress and prosperity. The Interior Minister affirmed that Bahrain will remain the land of peace and safety. 
safety and the cradle of coexistence and openness to the others, which is a deep-rooted and a continuous approach within the era of loyalty belonging to the nation and the authentic patriotic spirit. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, affirmed the importance of the historic step taken by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve peace in the Middle East, with the highlights of the U.S. President Donald Trump to reach a peace declaration with Israel. In the press statement, he said the Kingdom of Bahrain stresses the necessity of exerting more efforts to achieve a just and comprehensive solution with peace as a strategic option to end the Palestinian-Israel conflict in accordance to the international legitimacy decisions and the Arab Peace Initiative, which guarantee the rights of the Palestinian people. He said that this is a realistic step to face the strategic challenges and protect national interests, adding that the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to good neighborliness with all countries of the region. The foreign minister highlighted the importance of the peace declaration set to be signed between the United Arab Emirates and the State of Israel, which contributed to stopping the annexation of Palestinian lands and pushed forward steps to reinforce peace in the Middle East. The Information Minister Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi stressed Bahrain's firm and steadfast position towards the rights of the Palestinian people, which are at the top of its priorities and the need to obtain their full legitimate rights. He noted that the declaration of support for peace between Bahrain and Israel is a historic and significant step towards establishing peace in the Middle East, as well as realistic step that helps put an end to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in accordance with the Arab Initiative. The minister stated that all historical precedents confirm that all uh, the kingdom's initiatives and decisions have always been in the interest of the Palestinian people and protecting them, and no one can outbid the kingdom in this regard. He affirmed that Bahrain's signing of a declaration is in support of peace with Israel, represents one of the kingdom's international efforts to spread the culture of peace and peaceful coexistence across the world. Armehi said that Bahrain received an invitation from President Donald Trump to attend the signing ceremony of peace between the United Arab Emirates and Israel on September 15th at the White House. The Shura and Representatives Councils issued a statement today welcoming establishing uh, diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel in a historic step that would contribute to reinforcing stability and peace in the region, which is a continuation of Bahrain's efforts in reinforcing the pillars of peace, stability and in the world. The Councils affirmed necessity to exert more efforts to end the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and achieve just and comprehensive peace according to the two-state solution and the relevant international legitimacy decisions. The councils expressed uh, their support to the decision to achieve peace in the Middle East and hold direct dialogue and relations between the two societies and economies to contribute toward a positive transformation in the Middle East. International reactions have continued to welcome the statement which includes establishing full diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi expressed his congratulations on the historic step taken by Bahrain, which supports the full or the peace efforts and opens new prospects for stability in the region. The UAE also welcomed the historic step, expressing its hope that this step will have a positive impact on the peace process and on regional and international cooperation. In turn, the Jordanian Foreign Ministry said that the kingdom will continue to work in coordination with its brotherly countries to achieve a just peace, which constitutes a Jordanian, Palestinian and Arab strategic choice. Britain's uh, Foreign Minister Dominic Raab uh, welcomed uh, the peace agreement between Bahrain and Israel, expressing hope that more countries will take similar steps in order to promote the peace process in the region. Earlier, the U.S. President Donald Trump announced the agreement to establish full relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Israel, thanking both leaders for their vision to reach a peace treaty. President Trump said that the agreement between Bahrain and Israel will include an exchange of ambassadors and begin direct flights between the two countries, stressing that the agreement constitutes a historic day. In the spirit of peace and cooperation, both leaders also agreed that Bahrain will fully normalize its diplomatic relations with Israel. They will exchange embassies and ambassadors, begin direct flights between their countries, and launch cooperation initiatives across a broad range of sectors, including health, business, technology, education, 
security and agriculture. This is a truly historic day. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan has announced that a total of 17 million Bahrain dinars will be dispersed to the citizens benefiting from government subsidies on September 15th in accordance with the criteria and regulations in force. The move is in line with the cabinet's resolution stipulating that subsidies shall be dispersed to eligible citizens across the five programs in one payment on the 15th of every month under the supervision of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and the the Ministry of Housing. Hamedan asserted that the disbursement of the five support programs in one payment since February 2020 has increased the citizens' benefits as the sums of all programs enable them to meet the needs of their families. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today highlighted that the number of active COVID-19 cases has increased over the past two weeks, surpassing 750 cases on some of the previous days due to non-compliance of health and precautionary guidelines during the Ashura holidays. The task force underscored the importance of social responsibility to safeguard individuals, families and the community by vigilantly adhering to all health guidelines aimed at mitigating the spread of the virus, reducing infection rates and flattening the curve. The task force noted that the virus does not discriminate between race, religion or faith and therefore ununified efforts are required to ensure a commitment to follow all precautionary measures aimed at preserving the health of the community. The task force stressed the importance of safeguarding the community as a national duty, as reflected in the national efforts of frontline workers who tirelessly work around the clock to support monitoring and mitigation efforts. On this note, the task force added that official statistics have revealed a spike in active COVID-19 cases due to an increase in social and religious gatherings during the Ashura holidays as a result of non-compliance to precautionary health measures that have been put in place in partnership with the Ja'fariya Waqf Direct Directorate and the heads of the Matams in Bahrain. The task force noted that the percentage of Bahraini citizens with active COVID-19 has more than doubled than that during Eid al-Fitr holidays. The task force emphasized that two weeks after the Eid al-Fitr holidays, active cases reached 5,568, of which 37% of cases were Bahraini citizens, adding that Bahraini citizens with active COVID-19 then doubled two weeks after the Ashura holidays, reaching 7,000 451 active cases, of which 82% of cases are Bahraini citizens. The rep this represents a 34% increase in cases existing between the two occasions, as the indicator showed an increase in the number of existing cases among children and women after the Ashura season, amounting to 2,787 existing cases for women and 1,480 cases for children. The task force emphasized that the health and safety of citizens and residents continues to be the top priority and that a loss of life cannot be compensated for. The task force stressed that continued non-compliance with health and precautionary measures has a negative repercussion on society and negative impact on the kingdom's efforts, which have been praised internationally. In the event that the number of existing cases continues to increase, decisions based on data and developments will be reviewed and a return to procedures from the previous stages to mitigate the spread of the virus may be required. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning in cooperation with the Municipal Councils completed more than 423 applications within the Cities and Villages Development Project from the beginning of the year 2019 until the middle of the year 2020. During the previous year, 67 homes were renovated and maintained within the Cities and Villages Development Project. According to the approved mechanisms and standards and according to the priorities raised by the Municipal Councils and the Capital Secretariat. During the current year, maintenance of 78 homes was completed, while work is underway to restore and maintain another 44 homes within the project. As for rain installators, which falls within the project, 145 applications were completed during the year 2019 and 132 applications were completed in the first half of this year in all governance across the kingdom. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the fruitful results of the Libyan dialogue session which were held this week in Nebuzinqa, Morocco, between two delegations representing the High State Council and uh, Tobruk Parliament. In a statement today, the Foreign Ministry commended the comprehensive agreement which was reached between the two sides to establish clear and transparent standards for holding sovereign uh, positions, paving the way for their uh, unification. It praised the efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Morocco to host the sessions, praising its strategic roles to relaunch political dialogue between parties to the conflict and support the Libyan people to overcome the crisis. The ministry urged all parties to commit to implementing the agreement and reach a comprehensive political statement that guarantees the country's unity and territorial integrity and achieve the Libyan people's aspirations to security, peace and stability. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus uh, cases reached 5,855 with 492 new recoveries, 632 registered new cases, 77 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 549 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. The Ministry also announced one death expressing its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urged everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.